Welcome to your gold market update charts of the day for today, 24th of January 2024. Mike Smith, an analyst at gold markets to lead you around what's happening in the Asian session today. And we saw a mixed session on Wall Street overnight. The Dow was a little soft on the back of 3M earnings, but the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 managed to continue their move upwards to all-time highs to follow through on last week's move. And earnings will continue to dictate sentiment this week as reporting season ramps up uh, as well as the end of week inflation data u.s futures are mildly positive in asian trading as netflix results boost the tech sector so the nasdaq is the best performing u.s futures index asian markets are a little soft despite that lead from wall street asx was near neutral with materials outperforming uh, but we are noticing just over the last hour we are seeing a little bit of selling going on European futures also pointing to a cautious open this afternoon. US dollar index test resistance it edged higher in Asia, but is quite mixed. FX markets a little choppy, but gold is hovering around that 2030 in Asia today. Again, looks as though it's an important level. Copper did have a good day and moved higher and breached the 200 MA, and oil is trading near the top of the range also. Bitcoin continues to look weak and moved through 40,000. Uh, yesterday it is holding on in asia today uh, a little bit of blame but that might be profit taking if we don't get a move back over 40 in the next couple of days it wouldn't be surprising to see some more selling going on in this asset in terms of data global pmi data is dominating the data news today we've seen australian pmi numbers back into expansion but the japanese numbers are soft hence the nikkei is not doing particularly well today after a significant run higher. We've got UK, European, US was out later. We've also got the Bank of Canada rate decision due later on tonight. As well as earnings, we've got our PCE data due at the end of the week. We've got the Q&Q &Q figures Thursday, along with US GDP and the major year on year figure on Friday. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Uh, we're going to start with Zipco, and you can see here we have another positive day. So if we are testing this level at 77, which I've marked on the chart, this is really based on weekly chart resistance. We can, we can see this level back in October 2022 was important as it was in January last year. So we're at 12 month highs on this stock, uh, but we need to see a move through 77. And if we do so, then a move up to a dollar in the first instance is possible and possibly up to 120 in the medium term. But in terms of the daily chart, we'd like to see it close above 77 in the last hour of trading to be convinced that this move has some legs to the upside. Uh, there is some weakness in the Aussie dollar this morning. You can see if we look at the GB pound Aussie dollar on the 30 minute chart, really since Asian Open, we've seen that Aussie dollar weakness. Uh, but we look as though we may be pausing but underneath this pivot around about 193.24. We think the higher probability traders later in the day, should this Aussie weakness continue, and possibly above 193.50 to take us maybe up to 194. If we look on the four hourly chart, you can see the significance of these levels. Uh, there's the 194 test back around about a week ago. So this level at 193.50 is the one to keep an eye on. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.